Hi, my name is Sofia and I am 29 years old, interdisciplinary artist, currently based between two places in London and in Slovakia. I work with the uh, oil paints and with the uh, linen and I do um, lots of variety of scales, but mostly I enjoy working with the large scale paintings. I would say that the technique that I use uh, is very therapeutic and very expressive as well. Uh, for me, the dog technique symbolizes the light and the photons and the movement and the energy itself. And I think that it's pretty much connected with my background because uh, as a child, uh, as I was growing up in a small, small place in Slovakia called Marianka, we had very little of light pollution and the nights here are still pretty much dark and uh, without artificial lighting. And uh, I really enjoy and really like the contrast in life uh, that are very inspirational for me. That's why I chose to move to London for the last couple of years and I could see that the light there is very, very different to the place that I grew up. Grew up. And uh, it's mostly because of the light as well and the light in the night. And uh, since, ever since then I started to study the light pollution uh, in the world in general. And that inspired me to undertake the course uh, MA Art and Science in St. Charles and Martins uh, that I finished uh, in 2022. And uh, in that in this course, I've been researching about the light and about uh, the colors and uh, how they do connect and how we perceive light, how we perceive colors. And I also uh, am connecting it with the sound and I create the soundscapes uh, related to the colors. And I also then uh, visualize it on my paintings. And uh, for the biggest influences, I would say definitely that it would be Mark Rothko, Aluka Samaras and Claude Monet because I really like each of them, how they work with color as well and with the patterns. And at the moment also I'm still trying to focus, I'm still like uh, keeping the research that I undertake on my MA and uh, I'm developing this and I try, uh, I paint a lot, lot, lot because uh, it's very important in a, as I'm being an artist um, to have some period of time where you, where you keep working and that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. Uh, but in the same time, I would say that the biggest challenge of being an artist uh, is that if you are someone like me, uh, that I'm creative when I'm alone, the most creative when I'm alone, then the biggest challenge would be to sacrifice the time spent with family and friends and to be brave enough to be able um, to be alone most of the time. And uh, that's also connected with... Uh, uh, like uh, what I, what advice would I uh, give myself, my younger self, uh, would be to value the time uh, that you have. Although it seems to be very easy, uh, very, very understandable, but uh, it's very tricky, tricky one, because we never know like how much time we have. And also like, and then when I'm thinking, and when I was young, I spent my time like, um, you know, like on different things. And now I'm thinking like if I would be, uh, if I would be doing something else that time, I could be even better or something like that. But also in the same time, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm. Um, it's okay. But the time is very, uh, very important. And... Um, because I like to work very uh, in a very traditional way, I haven't tried any unconventional mediums or techniques yet, and I don't think that I will. But uh, maybe, maybe one day, one day I'll change my mind. But I prefer to work uh, with the uh, with the oil paints, and I also tried uh, working with the rabbit skin glue and like mixing my own pigments and. Uh, working with raw pigments and stuff like this but 
I haven't tried uh, like uh, working with uh, any other ones. I work with uh, charcoals and pastels as well, which I really like on my paintings. And I prefer complete silence most of the time when I work. And it's because uh, when I paint, it's very, uh, as I said in the beginning, it's very therapeutic for me because I do lots of dots, 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 dots. And it's like, uh, for me, in that time, I have like uh, so much time to think. And I don't really focus on what I paint. I never like state any idea before, like what am I going to do? It's very uh, expressive what I do. And then like the dots is like the therapeutic thing for me that I finished my painting with and when I when I paint these dots I have lots of time to think about like uh, my day or about like uh, things about the conversations about the people and about I don't know like um, maybe music as well but I don't tend to listen to the music most of the time and Oh, what's the best reaction someone uh, has uh, had to my work? Uh, I would say like every time someone sees my work, it's uh, uh, it's for me very nice to see their reaction because every time uh, people see somehow like uh, what reflects the artwork in their self, for instance, like uh, someone would say like, oh, I can see the universe there. And on the same painting, another people would say like, oh, that's like a Aboriginal art culture or... Mm, I don't know like uh, someone said like I can see the I can see the tree or I can see the river and it's still the same painting and but with the expression and with the with the enthusiasm people say this it's uh, it's for me very rewarding and very I feel happy that uh, people can uh, can be very excited about the art and uh, it's very nice to see and especially also like when it's about uh, the piece that I created and that's also what I hope that people would take away from my artwork and it's the peace and composure like um, something that people would uh, would remember at least for a while and would um, somehow bring them the peace and the quiet and the peace of the mind I would say yeah and yeah <laughs> That's, I would say that's all uh, for my work and I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for interviewing me. Bye bye.